So that's the first two flags. And now let's look at the third flag. And this one is the max tenuring threshold. The meaning of this flag is how many generations should an object survive before it becomes part of the old generation. Now, in our example, we want this to be as high as possible. We want our objects to live in the young generation for as long as possible. So let's again find out the default value. I'll go to the console. We'll need to rerun JPS first of all to get a new process ID. That's now 10940. So when we run JInfo, we want to know the value of the flag max tenuring threshold. And the process ID is 10940. And we're told the answer there is 15. And actually, 15 is the maximum value for this flag. You can set max tenuring threshold to be lower than 15. And in some circumstances, that might be useful. That's saying you want objects to be promoted to the old generation sooner. But that won't, of course, be good for us. And in fact, this parameter is actually not that useful because it's an upper bound. The JVM might still choose a value lower than the value we put in here if it thinks it would be optimal to do so. And actually, you can't set this number to be higher than 15. In most versions of Java, you'll just get an error if you set the number to be higher than 15. If it does allow you to set it to be 16, and some versions of Java do allow that, what this actually means is keep everything in the young generation. Never allow anything to ever be promoted to the old generation. Effectively, 16 and higher, when it's accepted as a value, is treated as being infinity. And this is always a really bad idea because you're effectively saying a lot of your heap, at least half of your heap, which is the old generation, is never going to be used. That's definitely wasteful. It's definitely not a good idea. So even if your version of Java does allow you to set this to 16, don't do it.